Citizens, it's that time you're officially in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I'm the Wizard Uncle James. I would love for you to become an active citizen of the Alert Zone. And you guys and girls already know how to do that. So with that being said, I wanted to touch on a couple things that I think we need to discuss here. Uh, I'm pushing the message. First off, I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in to this channel. Um... Sometimes I know I talk about things that make people feel uncomfortable. I told you guys and girls when I started this channel, when I started the last channel, I was going to show you how guns, politics, and race all intertwined, whether we liked it or not. And if we didn't address the issue, we was going to keep running from it and it was just going to spiral out of control. And I think I've done a very good job of making people understand why what the Second Amendment is important to know just so much and how much of our daily lives are tied up into the Second Amendment. So with that being said, I wanted to take some time out to talk about the Second Amendment supporters versus the hypocrites. You know, because a person is legally armed doesn't mean they support the Second Amendment. Um, ways you can spot a hypocrite people that try and talk you out of getting armed in the first place and tell you what you need a firearm for while at the same time sticking their chest out talking about saluting the flag and supporting the military well the last time I checked the military had firearms the last time I checked, it was the firearm that made America become America. Without the gun, the Americans couldn't have not beat the British. The same people who say back the badge that tell you, why do you need a firearm, but they back the badge. Well, if law enforcement shows up empty-handed, what good does it do? The laws can't be enforced without violence or without the threat of violence. And without a firearm. That's just the fact. There is not a person on this planet. That will want to call law enforcement. For them to show up empty handed. If somebody's breaking in your home. And you call them cops. You want them to show up with guns. You don't want them to show up empty handed with a flashlight. You don't want that. People who tell you they support the second amendment. And then go behind closed doors and go against the Second Amendment or they want certain restrictions. When you see these gun rallies out here, when you see all these guys and girls dressed up in, uh, uh, dressed up like they in Call of Duty and like they in uh, Halo and the rest of these types of games, that doesn't mean they support the Second Amendment. All you got to do is talk to them long enough and a lot of them will let you know. They support limitations based on capacity, race, gender, orientation, and everything else. If you don't believe me, Philando Castile was a modern time where all these gun-loving Second Amendment people should have, this country should have been in an uproar about that. Everybody that claims to love the Second Amendment should be angry about it and should have been in an uproar. When I say uproar, I don't mean tearing nothing up, but the support should have been that we as law-abiding citizens that are legally armed, that's what's supposed to bond us. It's not supposed to be this, yet that's what it is. It's this. And people just don't want to talk about it and people don't want to hear about it, but the truth is the truth. The very same people that stormed the Michigan State Capitol when the COVID lockdowns happened with their AR-15s telling law enforcement to take them from us was solid when it was collecting Philando Castillo on the side of the road, getting his damn brains knocked out by Geronimo Yanez. Rest on to Roger Fortson, the airman that was just... Uh, unalive by a law enforcement officer in Florida. He had a legal right to have a firearm. Florida is a constitutional carry state now where you don't need a permit to carry. 
So what that tells you is anytime law enforcement encounters somebody with a firearm, now they have to assume that that firearm is legal since they're not required to have a permit. And yet all these gun-loving Second Amendment guys and girls who talk about the flag and all that, they quiet now. Fox News should have been railing. Y'all boy Tucker the Sucker Carlson and all the rest of the, the, rest of the, 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 the loud mouths out there should have been screaming and shouting about this was an American serviceman killed by law enforcement. But they quiet. Let me make this clear. As long as you can pack up, pass a background check, go through the proper paperwork, I'm not against anybody in this country that's able to be legally armed being armed. I'm, I'm not against what they can carry. Even if I don't have the same ideology as them. This is one of the only channels, I'm one of the only people that will openly say all these militia groups, all these people running around here talking about they're looking for a race war, I don't have an issue with them being armed. As long as they know when they come up on me, they better run up on me shooting because I'm going to arm myself. We ain't going to agree about everything all the time, and that's fine. But the Second Amendment, if we believe in the Second Amendment, we should agree with that across the board. And anybody that supports restrictions on the Second Amendment, we need to ostracize them. For those of you who don't know, I already pointed out how the NRA doesn't really support the Second Amendment. Because Philando Castillo and Roger Forson was two very perfect times for them to throw their weight around. All that money and support the NRA got and they didn't say nothing. I told you guys the NRA supports uh, the Second Amendment. It just when it comes to back and black folks up, they don't support it. If you don't believe me, Ronald Reagan signed into gun, regu gun registration uh, regulations, I'm sorry, into office when he was in California. But it was the NRA that said they was okay with it. They helped him craft the legislation with the, when the Panthers showed up. I've been open. I don't, I'm not a member of the NRA. I know a lot of their members support the Second Amendment uncompromisingly, but that organization, I understand, it was not built to be uncompromising on the Second Amendment. I know that already. Now, let me tell you the worst hypocrite that can be out there. And these are the most deadliest hypocrites. Safety check for YouTube. Got my Smith & Wesson SD9. Chambered in 9mm. The law-abiding citizens that tell you they're okay with you having this. Like this. But. Not like this. The criminals have this. That's a hypocrite to tell me that I don't need more than this. Whether you feel like you personally need more than this or not, it's not the point. Telling me I can't have what the criminals have. I shouldn't be allowed to have what the criminals have. That's a hypocrite. And that's a deadly one too. Because they'll be behind these gun laws. These criminals have understood that when they come to your home, when they run up on your car, and there's five of them with this, and one of you with this, you're outgunned. They understand that. They're traveling packs, the wolf packs. Got mine. CZ Scorpion, chambered in 9mm, with the, to go with it, the YouTube compliant 10 round mag, got my Keltec PLR 16, chambered in 556223, and I got 
American apple pie. My Bushmaster AR-15 chambered in 5.56223. When you hear people tell you they love the Second Amendment, why do we need these, these weapons of war? We already live in a war. It's called good versus evil, the law-abiding citizens versus the criminals. We already live in a war. We already live in a war zone. So, it's okay for me to have this. But not this. I'm going to show up. And the only thing I'm allowed to have is this. There's nothing wrong with this because I carry it. The only thing you want me to have is this. But I'm showing up to the gunfight like this. What people like this. I got five guys outside of my door with these. I got three guys running up on my car with these. But you love the Second Amendment. I got people telling me this is an accessory we shouldn't be allowed to have, but they love the Second Amendment. But the criminals have. Let me say this in closing. The Second Amendment hypocrites, we need to find them, we need to point them out, and we need to oust them from the community. Because don't you think it's people that's just anti-gun that's pushing a lot of these laws. A lot of these laws are being pushed by guys and girls who got cabinets and closets full of firearms. They just don't want the public to be armed like that. When these people that live in gated communities hire these private security companies, they don't have them walking around like this with revolvers. They walking around like this with ARs. Law enforcement, they don't carry these anymore. A five, six shot service revolver. They all got long guns now. Because they want to have what the criminals have or more. You as a law-abiding citizen should do the very same thing. And anybody that speaks against that is a hypocrite and you need to call them out. Tell them repent. Get away from their evil ways. Let us have what the criminals have or more. Because when shit hit the fan, they're going to be the first ones coming behind us to have these. For protection. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay armed, stay on high, high alert.